Hello everybody. I am Sarvjit Soni and I write books. Well, today I am not here to talk about books. It was just for show off. I am here to talk about shortcuts. Well, shortcut is a topic of productivity and meaningfulness. It is also a topic of procrastination and self-honesty. Why humans are taking this much shortcuts that their life is becoming very unproductive? Why they are doing it to themselves? Well, let's start with the journey. We'll answer that question. I was in my train journey some years ago. Uh, it was a usual train journey. Uh, we were doing usual uh, Indian things. And I don't remember most of the train journey. It means I was sleeping most of the time. Yeah. But yeah, I remember talking to a person. He was a good guy. I told him I am author. You know, I did my show off. And he told me that... Uh, he has a business idea and he did have a great business idea but uh, uh, but he was not executing that idea from last two years so i asked him hey man why are you not starting a business now he said i don't like summer season i will start it in winter or monsoon his idea was not at all related with seasons and he was just being dishonest with himself he was just lying to himself and to me that is not important but himself is important he was lying to himself just being in a unproductive being in a productive and un uncomfortable zone right he just want to be in a comfortable zone and a an unproductive zone to just be in a more pleasurable zone he was in he was he can be in it but he was just avoid being in a productive and uncomfortable zone in which he should be the zone of work and this ladies and gentlemen is a shortcut actually not only this everything everything and anything that a person do in behalf of a, a productive and uncomfortable thing and that anything can be just comfortable and unproductive it is shortcut i observed shortcuts in my life in life of the clients whom i was consulting and when we started avoiding shortcuts our life turned out to be the most productive and meaningful than ever before. I did my research. My mom was not at all happy about uh, sticking those pages to wall, but still I did my research. And in my research, I just didn't only got to know what are shortcuts, but I also got to know how these shortcuts are originated and came to our life. I also got to know how these shortcuts can be avoided from our life. Well, let's start with the origin of shortcut. The origin of shortcut is 25 million years ago when we all were apes. We were apes. We were not humans. Uh, at that time, if you are an ape, you don't have any shortcut in your life. The only thing you have is uh, nothing, actually. You just have survival and reproduction. You have to eat food in order to survive and you have to reproduce in order to just make your progeny go and go, and go on. So you was doing that, but our mind, the human mind, it is always designed in such a way that we will always try to find the most comfortable and the shortest path to do anything. Like if you have to go somewhere, there, there are two paths, there's a long, there's a short, you will always choose a short one because your mind is designed in such a way. Because of this design, in last 25 million years, human developed trillions of shortcuts for billions of things. And these shortcuts are also known as inventions and innovations. I also call, call them advantageous shortcuts because they provide us some sort of advantage. The first thing we discovered was fire. And if today someone came to you, uh, say, hey man, can you please burn fire with me those stones? See, I tried to burn fire with those stones. It's tough, but we did it. And today we have shortcut. We can just, you know, click a button in the lighter to burn fire. We have shortcut. Not only to burn fire, but to go somewhere you can fly to go there. I, I came here while flying. So there are shortcuts for each and everything. In last millions of years, we developed trillions of shortcuts for billions of things. But is there any relation between these advantageous shortcuts and the shortcuts you were talking earlier that are making our life unproductive? Yes, there is. The relation is there is a concept in biology known as adaptation which says that the living organism adapt themselves according to the change in environment in which they are living. Like here is a living organism, here is the environment in which they are living. If this environment change and affected their survival, they will also change according to the change in environment, right? So what, what you can simply say that just take a plant from a desert and take a plant from a rainforest. 
you will see a significant difference between them why because they adapted themselves according to the environment in which they are living right they are the picture of moths they are moths so moths are the insect which used to live uh, which used to stick to trunk of trees most of the time in their life and uh, before 19 something most of the moths were white like the upper mm -hmm. one they were white and uh, the trees uh, the trunk of trees were also white so when they were sticking to trunk of trees uh, the predators were not able to see them but after industrial revolution most of the trees near the city's area were turned out to be black coated and these moths are white the trees are black they are now easily visible to the predators now they are not safe in their life what happened today in contrast 90 percent of the moths near the city area are black they adapted themselves according to the change in environment in which they are living this is adaptation so this adaptation is not only physical there are mental adaptations also and this adaptation is not just restricted to plants and insects it occurs in humans also so what i'm suggesting is what i'm saying is in last in last millions of years human developed trillions of shortcuts for billions of things and now they are sort of adapted of taking shortcut when i say sort of adapted it means it's their general tendency now to find the shortcut for the thing that even do not have shortcut and just just see it if someone try to find the shortcut for the thing that do not have shortcut it turns out to be a disadvantageous shortcut here's an example here's a boy who is studying for an exam he decided for himself that he will study for next six hours uh, but behalf of studying what he did is, uh, did is he just watched toppers interview of that same exam so while watching the toppers interview he insisted himself that oh i'm doing something productive i'm doing something important i'm not wasting my time but at the unconscious level he even knows that i am just taking a shortcut i'm just doing a comparatively comfortable work right and that is unproductive also comparatively unproductive so what i'm saying is there are basically two types of shortcuts which differentiate each shortcut that human can take there are short shortcuts there are long shortcuts short shortcuts are the shortcuts which people take to avoid their work for a long for a short time and long shortcuts are the shortcuts which people take to avoid their work for a long time here's a mechanism of short shortcut so suppose you are working a urge will keep coming to you in your mind the urge will be the urge of pleasurability the urge will be the urge of being in high dopamine stimulation state the urge will be the urge of uh, you know being more cozy but this urge basically is the urge of shortcut to fulfill that urge you will take the nearest shortcut it can be anything it can be using social media it can be talking to a friend it can be just going out somewhere it can be it can be anything from from using social media to thinking about any random stuff like what will happen if i died is a short shortcut uh, after the taking of shortcut you will realize maybe after 15 minute 20 minute maybe after one day you will realize that oh i have to do my work i've just wasted my time then you will get back to your work and the cycle will keep going on and here's the mechanism of long shortcut long shortcuts are basically the comfort zones they are basically the long term excuses that people give to themselves to avoid their productive and uncomfort uncomfortable work so it can be anything like i'm getting over through a breakup or uh, it can be i'm finding my passion now it can be i'm just a student now it can be uh, it can be i don't like the season that's why i'm not starting the business like the train guy it can be anything and the the realization in long shortcut trap is always with the person who is taking the shortcut they know that it is just not relevant to the work I'm doing, but they still insist, insist themselves. So oh, it's validating, it's validating, it's worthy enough to keep me from away my work, yeah? right? And uh, maybe sometimes in long shortcut trap, they just go out of their comfort zone, do something productive and meaningful in their life. But most of the time, they just waste their whole life in the long shortcut trap. And it's very, very bad actually yeah so everything that started as a fascination everything that started as a fascination in human society is now a big shortcut like when car came to the market when iphone came to the market when uh, when social media came to the market it was the big fascination for everybody and today these 
these things are the big shortcut for the whole humanity so now you know what are shortcuts how they are ruining your productivity and your life sometimes now you know how these shortcuts are originated it's time to know how to avoid these shortcut is there a way to avoid the shortcut yes there is i don't have a full proof plan or a you know a, a, a steps to follow to avoid shortcut but yeah uh, i have some suggestions first one is use your common sense yeah it's it's bad that that humans are not using their common sense uh you have common sense in order to do the thing in a analyzed manner right if you want to know the thing that you are doing is shortcut for you or not you have to analyze the thing and you have to use your common sense for that the saddest thing is people are dishonest with themselves the bottom line is be honest with yourself when you are using your common sense in order to know the thing that you are doing is shortcut for you or not you have to use your common sense in a very brutal honest manner most of the time when people take shortcut they are just dishonest with themselves themselves after that be conscious it's really embarrassing to tell a human being to be conscious because uh, you have consciousness in order to do the thing that you want to do but most of the things that we are doing these days that humans are doing these days are unconscious they are either controlled by the big industries big big giant product industries or they are they are controlled by the friends family environment anything so what i'm saying is be conscious it means be conscious about most of the things that you are doing maybe you are watching this talk sitting here maybe you watching in it on youtube and uh, and you are just doing it unconsciously by avoiding your productive work why keep keep watching it right now and what i'm saying is be conscious it means be conscious means if you are using social media use social media if you are studying study if you are talking to a friend talk to a friend like do it consciously don't just keep doing the things the third thing is use your will power humans have the strongest will power in all the living organisms strongest and you just have to use this much of your will power to avoid shortcut this much please use your will power these are the tools which we have to make our life good please use them next thing is guilt use the guilt please feel the guilt don't let the guilt go if you will do anything that is not good for you you have to just feel the guilt for it feel it don't let it go don't engage yourself if engage yourself in another activity feel it do the thing next time in a good way well someone came to muhammad ali while he was doing crunches the the crunches exercise right someone came to him and asked maybe he was a reporter how much do you do of them he said i don't count until it hurts it was a strong statement i don't count until it hurts Muhammad Ali, Mahatma Gandhi, Bhagat Singh, Einstein, Darwin, Tesla, Steve Jobs, Wozniak, Soichiro Honda, they are the greatest greatest person in the history of human kind and they never take shortcuts. They are brutally honest, brutally honest with themselves and their works. If you want to be one of them, and even if you want to live a good life, start avoiding shortcuts. well last thing i want to end my slide uh, and my whole talk with avoid shortcuts and kill them before they kill your meaningfulness thank you guys i'm sarjit soni author of daily life thank you